What's up, YouTube? I'm going to show you how to make a mid-range maestro at the shooting guard. And you got to do it how I have it or it's going to be something completely different. I, I tried it. It took me a while to get it right, exactly right. All right, so you want to take the shooting and defensive pie chart. Of course, the first one. Are you gonna max this out? You're gonna max this out. You're gonna max this out. And take this to a 47. All right. You're gonna max your mid range out. And you're gonna take your three point shot to a 75. You're gonna take your free throw to an 80. And max your post fade out at, at 80. That gives you exactly 15 shooting badges. Are right, you going to max your pass accuracy out and your ball handle out and put it at 31, giving you exactly 10 shooting badges? Now, this is where it's tricky because if you don't do it exactly right, it's not going to come out of mid range maestro. It's going to come out of something completely different. So you're going to put this at 79. You're going to have this at 80. And you want a 70 steal. Alright. And put the rest. I hear rebound, which gives you exactly 80 on your rebound. However you do this is fine. Leave it at 6.5. Leave the weight the same. And then drop your wingspan all the way to 77 flat. And take the shot creating takeover. Mid-range maestro at the guard. I haven't seen it at the guard. I've seen it at small forward. And I've seen it at power forward. I have not seen it at the shooting guard. Um, as far as I know, it hasn't been made at the guard. So... If you guys are interested in this type of build, I mean, here it is. Mid-range Maestro. It's a rare build. It's a good build.